All right, so let's look at getting started um, or installing a Java runtime environment. Um, from a Java runtime environment, if you were from the command line, you would be able to run your program by doing something like this, Java, um, and then whatever the name of your program might be. And it's not just the runtime. Like if I do this, Java version, I know that my runtime is installed. You can see it there. That is different from your compiler, Java C. And that compiler, you may have one, you may or may not have the um, one or the other installed. But if you have the compiler, you'll see something like that occur. It will spit out some information. Um, and I think if I just give me the version, yes, so it'll give me the version of the compiler. So you see that the difference is one is just simply Java version, which is the runtime. The other one is um, Java C, uh, the compiler. Now, where do we get that from? If you go to oracle.com slash index.html and then scroll on down over to Java download under what's new. Um, the JDK is the Java development kit. It's the environment. So it includes the runtime and the compiler. So if you go to that you'll get an option to download a fairly big file, number of options depending on which platform. Are you on Linux? Um, which hardware do you have on Linux? Are you on a Mac? And so what we're going to do is go with the, um, I'll go with the executable, Windows X64 installer. And so I'll go ahead, um, click this, download the executable, and then I'll save it somewhere. And so that could take a, a minute or so. And so once it's downloaded, go ahead and run that executable. Note that the folder that this is installing it is under C, Program Files, Java, JDK 16. Um, my current version, if I go to that uh, directory, Program Files, Java, uh, JDK 14 is the version that I have right now. And it looks like that one would have been installed um, maybe March of 2020. And I'm going to, um, and then there's also a prior version of that installed in 2019. So I'm going to update that. I'll just go ahead and hit next and it should create another uh, directory with an updated version and, and there we have uh, JDK 16 and we'll wait for it to extract. Since this is a larger file this could take a, um, a minute or two. So when it's done you should see something like this. Um, where it says successfully installed. I will just hit close. Now since there are multiple um, versions of the Java runtime environment and the JDK, you want to be sure that you're working with the most recently installed version. So I'm going to hit the Windows button for me here and type CMD, bring up a command prompt, and then from here, what I'll do is I'll say Java version, and it has properly adjusted my path so that I'm working with the most recent version. So that's good. Had it not done that, I would have to hit um, the Windows button again, type in environment, and I may have to uh, go over to environment variables and then make sure that my path here, um, either my personal individual path or if there are multiple users, global path, which, which holds for everyone, I may have to go in and edit it and um, make sure that it's pointing to JDK 16. 
Um, in this case, it, so you want to be careful with this. Make sure that your your path is the correct path. This one says JDK 14. Um, and so I will, just for good measure, go ahead and change that to um, JDK 16. binaries and so and I say binaries because in that are these executable or binary files there's the Java runtime environment there's the Java compiler Java C um, and so forth so let me go ahead and take that you may or may not have to do this but I'm gonna go ahead and do this for good measure copy and paste make sure I'm pointing to the correct or the most recently installed um, version of Java so I'll hit OK and changes in the environment don't take place automatically. Typically you'll have to start up a new command prompt. Um, okay, so I'm going to go ahead and work with that. So certainly the runtime environment is there and let's check to make sure that if I happen to need a compiler it's also there and I've not made any changes um, so that I would have possibly lost that's where I think we're okay so the newest runtime environment is there